for Giles and I, Bremel started many years ago, and uh, really, I suppose the inspiration for, for, for us and the watches came from our father. So as children, we spent the whole time in the workshop with him making things, so we still fly aeroplanes we built with him, restore cars um, that we still drive to this day, um, motorbikes, um, but clocks one of the things that really fascinated him. The other passion in his lives, which you could probably see from our brand itself, was aviation. We were lucky enough to, to learn how to fly in our early years, um, so in our teens, and then when it got to sort of the early 90s, Giles and I were doing some of these air shows as well, and sort of the love of flying has always been there. It was a March, lovely um, sunny day, and uh, um, Nick and Dad were out practicing for an air display in a second world aircraft called the Harvard. And they were doing some formation aerobatics and um, one of the guys pulled out of the way with an engine issue. Uh, Nick and Dad didn't know where he'd gone. They took evasive action and went into an inverted spin. We ended up crashing. Um, I ended up breaking 30 bones. Dad died and um, poor old Giles was uh, waiting to take off and could hear the whole thing happening on the um, on the intercom, thinking, my God, you know, what's, what's, what's going on here? Um, and for us, uh, you know, it's a horrific period of our lives, but it was, um, I guess it was that tipping point that really made us go off and value life the way we sort of do today. So in 2002, having been involved beforehand in the business restoring historic aircraft, um, we both decided to go off and set up a, a watch brand, but we had this sort of fascination for, for watches. We had a very clear idea of what we wanted to achieve. Uh, obviously, there's this incredible history of British watchmaking, which we're very, very passionate about. Um, but also, we wanted to produce something which was beautifully, beautifully engineered, something you could pick up in 20, 30, 40 years' time, and it'd still look good. We wanted something which an engineer would love, something which was very focused on mechanics of what was going on. So off we trundle in 2002 to uh, Bienn in Switzerland to learn how to sort of make a watch and, and build a brand around uh, beautiful timepieces. But that period um, took us not a year and a half as we told our wives at the time, but it took us five years. So it actually wasn't until 2007 that we were finally ready to, to sell our first watch.